Until it hurts. America's Obsession with Youth Sports and How It Harms Our Kids, by Mark Hyman is a compelling critique of the hyper-competitive youth sports culture in the United States. Through a thorough examination of various aspects of this phenomenon, Hyman argues that the relentless pursuit of athletic excellence in children can have detrimental consequences on their physical, emotional, and psychological well-being. Hyman starts by setting the stage, describing the intense world of youth sports where children as young as six are pushed to excel in various sports. He presents this culture as a reflection of society's obsession with youth and success. In this highly competitive environment, parents often become overly invested in their children's athletic endeavors, with the hope of securing scholarships or even professional careers. Hyman argues that this fixation on success at a young age leads to harmful outcomes, both for the kids and their families. One of the key points Hyman emphasizes is the physical toll that youth sports can take on children. He highlights the rise in injuries among young athletes due to excessive training and specialization. Children are pushed to play a single sport year-round, leading to overuse injuries and burnout. Hyman's argument is supported by alarming statistics and real-life stories of young athletes suffering from stress fractures, torn ligaments, and other injuries that can have lifelong consequences. By emphasizing winning over overall well-being, Hyman asserts that this obsession with youth sports is harming the physical health of our kids. Hyman also delves into the emotional and psychological effects of the hyper-competitive youth sports culture. He notes that children are under constant pressure to perform at their best, which can lead to anxiety, depression, and even eating disorders. The author cites studies and personal accounts to demonstrate how the relentless pursuit of success in sports can take a toll on a child's mental health, often resulting in them disliking the very activity they once loved. This aspect of his argument underscores how the obsession with youth sports can harm the emotional and psychological development of children. Furthermore, Hyman discusses the financial burden placed on families. He highlights the exorbitant costs associated with competitive youth sports, from expensive equipment to travel expenses for tournaments. Parents are often expected to invest significant time and money into their child's athletic pursuits, which can strain family relationships and financial stability. This financial burden can exacerbate the pressure on children to succeed, creating a toxic cycle of expectations and sacrifices. Hyman also examines the role of coaches in perpetuating the obsession with youth sports. He argues that many coaches prioritize winning over the well-being of their young athletes. Coaches often encourage specialization in year-round training, pushing kids to their limits. This approach, according to Hyman, not only contributes to physical injuries but also fosters a win-at-all-costs mentality that undermines the original purpose of youth sports, to have fun, learn life skills, and build character. Throughout the book, Hyman underscores the need for a cultural shift in how America approaches youth sports. He advocates for a return to a more balanced and child-centered approach where the emphasis is on the development of physical literacy, sportsmanship, and overall well-being. Hyman believes that parents, coaches, and society at large must reconsider their priorities and resist the urge to turn youth sports into a high-stakes competition. In conclusion, Until It Hurts, America's Obsession with Youth Sports and How It Harms Our Kids, by Mark Hyman presents a compelling argument against the hyper-competitive youth sports culture in the United States. Through a combination of statistics, personal stories, and expert opinions, Hyman convincingly illustrates how this obsession is harming the physical, emotional, and psychological well-being of our children. He calls for a re-evaluation of priorities and a return to a more balanced and child-centered approach to youth sports, 
emphasizing the importance of physical health, mental well-being, and character development over the relentless pursuit of success. The book serves as a thought-provoking critique of a pervasive aspect of American culture and prompts readers to consider the long-term consequences of our current youth sports obsession.